Hi, I'm Phil Dunn. I'm a process engineer here at Willwood Engineering. Anodizing is a process we perform on aluminum where we take the aluminum and when we apply electricity to it, we'll grow aluminum oxide from the inside of the part to the outer surface. The aluminum oxide is a ceramic coating which has a lot of properties, but for our purposes, we're looking for a hard abrasive resistant surface, which creates a coating or a shell around the bare aluminum. Many of the advantages of the aluminum are also the weak point of the aluminum. The fact is aluminum's relatively inexpensive, high strength to weight ratio, but it's very poor for abrasion resistance. So rather than building a steel caliper and have that abrasion resistance, we find it easier to build it out of aluminum and coat it with the hard anodized. This gives us all the advantages of the steel coupled with the advantages of the aluminum. The neat thing about bringing the hard anodized in-house here at Willwood is that we're able to set it up exclusively to our product line and to the goals we want to meet in the performance of the coating. Here you see one of our technicians tooling up the calipers for their run through the anodized line. The first step, as you see him affixing the parts to the overhead bridge train, is to get the parts into the soap. This will remove all oils and coolant left over on the part from the machining process. Rinses are performed between each chemical dip. From there, we go over to an acidic etch, which is gonna give the part a final cleaning prior to anodizing. After anodized, the parts are rinsed in three separate deionized rinse water baths, with the final being the cleanest of all and at an elevated temperature to help seal the part prior to its next stop. The parts are dried with clean compressed air. It's very important to make sure that we've gotten all the acid off of the part from the previous operation. That's why we spend so much time making sure our rinses are adequate and properly agitated when the parts are placed in there. Here you can see as the parts are coming off the rack, the inboards and the outboards are kept together until their final destination. They'll remain together in sets throughout this process until the assembly point, whether they're sold as is in the anodized color or they're gonna be later powder coated. 